Yeah, get the <laughs> thumbnail, man. Pump so that what do you up. Reckon? Go and do it. Get the teeth out. Get big smile. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm giving it to him. <laughs> yeah. See, I'm angled in. It's not just hamstring. It's right into the adductor, the Magnus. Yeah, the Magnus. The big one. The big boy. G'day, guys. Ninja. Ass on the table. G'day. We're going to work on Darcy's medial hamstring, but we're going to work on the lower back as well. I'm going to try and find anything that's entangled up upstream mm. that can be affecting down here as well. So we planned on doing some like a whole line, but I think we're going to do it in two parts. I'm going to work the lower back and then I'm going to do a continuous line inside the glutes yep. and then work right down into all those spots where um, Dars wants. I might do what Dars did. Come over here, Leo. Yeah, <laughs> show them the superficial yeah. back line. So the superficial back line, the Tom Myers stuff. So you can kind of see through here that comes through there and then along into the, so we're gonna be going more medial, so down that inside line there. So you can see how the whole body is connected through. So um, yeah. So we're gonna do the fascial system. The fascial system, the fascia, yeah. the most important system we believe in the human body, the physical body. Yeah. So it's gotta to, got to be flowing, gotta be working well. So yep. you're hydrated, you're moving well, you're, you know, you release your trauma out of your, your body yep. and it's all connected up. Yep. Everything needs uh, messages. It's a messaging system as well. So yep. it um, lets, you, lets you know what's going on, all the different parts of your body, all the cells are uh, in the loop mm -hmm. because of your fascia. Yep. Anyway, you can, I'll leave, let you do a bit of talking now, Darcy, and tell us what's going on and what you, why you thought to do this. Yeah, so I, I had some um, medial hamstring tension, but I've also been having a little bit of lower back tension, uh, glute, calf, the whole like posterior part of my my back has been a little bit sore. Sorry for interrupting your video guys, but I want to talk to you about the MMT Online Academy. So you might have been looking at Ninja and I doing our stuff for a long time now thinking, how good would it be to work at MMT? But you might be overseas. This is your chance to get exclusive content updates from us every single day to make you a better practitioner, more new customers, better results, and skyrocket your income. So if you want to be on the Inner Sanctum, get into the Academy. All you've got to do is dedicate five minutes a day to making yourself better, and it's just 28 bucks per month. How good's that? Seven bucks a week. Let's go! And tight. Um, I guess we train a lot of it during uh, during our, our lift clubs that we do weekly. We make sure we get our squats in and our deadlifts, and it's very focused on training our hamstrings and our glutes. Alongside with uh, the football that I play every week and the training that I'm doing, it's just a lot of load, a lot of forces put through um, my spine and my, my hips. So I thought we, the, the idea of today would be to, to try and collect as much of the of the of the uh, fascial system as we can in this posterior chain. So starting in the lower back and working through the hamstrings and the calves and behind the knee. And yeah, you just can find speed bumps and collect any little um, blockages and clear them and move them along. And yeah, it's something that I've, I've wanted to get. I've given Ninja one of these treatments maybe 12 to 18 months ago. I can't remember if it was the front or the back line. Do you remember? <laughs> oh. You must have done the back, or yeah. I think it was the back. I think I started at the top of the skull and worked all the way down. But it's just a really nice way to make sure that you're not missing anything and and really, um, yeah. Some we're as Ninja said, we're all connected. Maybe there's tension starting in the lower back. There's a kink there that can be interfering with the function of your hamstring or of your glute or of your calf or of your big toe. It, it yeah. We we just don't know until we give it a really thorough go through. And that's really connected there, man. I can feel that you're right on like the sacrum. I can feel that's yeah, decompressing my spine. I, I can feel that that's like just therapeutic. Yeah. It's really nice. So I'm going into SIJ here. So yeah. what's that stand for? Sacroiliac joint? That's correct. Ninja's bloody anatomy. Yes, he's on the ball. Ah, that's the one they teach you day one. So I know the ones they teach you day one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can't get those ones wrong. Oh. I do. <laughs> I still do. Oh, so, yeah, I've got my busy form angled right in there to kind of give the most efficient result though, mate. So. Oh, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's somewhere not a lot of people explore, do they, man? Yeah. Like, we, we do. We go to those depths, but... Yeah. When oh. you... When you grab the skeleton, though, you can kind of see, you know, where thing, those bones are overlapping, the sacrum and the, the pelvis are overlapping there, and you can just see that um, stuff would be getting caught 
in that SIJ. So how do you kind of um, get it to function better? You got to melt down that real thick fascia. Yeah. So I'm just gonna do a a money spot, oh, our good. traditional money spot, but I'm doing it a different manner to yeah. what we normally do it. So I'm doing it from the same side, but I'm trying to get the the jigsaw piece in. Yeah. So you just get it into that slot where it just fits in perfectly and work the angles, you know, get the pressure right. So yeah, this is a, a real treatment. So mm. I'm not gonna muck around with your DAS. No, I'm just, I need it. Just getting right in there and um, yeah, just sorting it out for you. I love real treatments, man. I need them. That's what we're here for. Let's yeah. let's fix it. Let's get some yeah some uh, positive flow. Yeah, it's, why not? Let's, yeah. let's optimize ourselves and yeah. give ourselves the best chance of performing. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Having pain sucks. Yeah. So and a lot of times you can do something about it. And there is um, the body is just a healing machine. It just it just sometimes just needs a little bit of a hand. Yeah, a bit of plumbing. You know, once yeah. you unblock the a drain or something like that, you just she, everything is happy again. It just works. Yeah. Things flow flow where they need to go. Yeah. So it's the same with the body. Yeah. Sometimes you just need a, a hand to, to do things and like I I just love connection. I think that's kind of the the main reason we're on the planet. Yeah. We're here to connect with each other. So um, what better way of connecting? You know, with a human, have a conversation while you're, you know, optimizing their body, unblocking things so they can perform better, they're out of pain. Yeah, that fascial system is integral for the, yeah. the physical body, so optimize that. I guess what's uh, fascinating about our job and the connecting part that you're talking about is we get to connect with all different types of people from all different shapes of life, different cultures, um, different um, uh, value systems, different uh, nations and different, you know, like the different cultures. Like it's, it's really cool, all the types of people that walk through our doors and the people we get to have conversations with. And yep. it gets, it makes our job enjoyable. And, and yeah, we get to learn so much from other people because I guess other people that don't have these communities or, or connections, they find it hard to, to talk about things about themselves or, or learn things from other people. Yeah. You know, it's, learning is so important. And a lot of the time, if we're closed off and we're not ready to connect to other communities of, or, or, or a tribe, then, yeah, we're missing out on on potential progression through life and, and uh, evolution, you know, like levelling up in life and learning new things and yeah. developing. Oh, that's really good. So in one word there, Darth, yep. you're talking about diversity. Diversity. Diversity is essential for the evolution. Yeah. You know, for p things to be better in the future. Yeah. You know, and I think um, I love there's when there's common ground and you find your tribe and things mm. like that, you know, and you can kind of really bond over the same things. But even when you kind of, like, say we take us three in the room here, the cameraman and me and you, Darth, we kind yep. of, we love you know, being physical, you know, physical fitness, being strong and yep. running and things like that, sprinting or climbing and, but this, we're still so different, yeah. you know, we can bond over that, but there's diversity yeah. within our, our little group here. Yeah. So, you know, you can't just sort of, and we're not all the same. It's not a homogenous world. No. You know, it's like um, you can bond over similarities but you can grow through the differences yeah and that's what we're all here to do is to help each other evolve and to see different points of view and you know yeah. you don't have to actually you know participate in whatever but you can kind of just understand to a certain point what why people come from a certain place and yeah. why they do certain things and believe certain things you know yeah so yeah you don't have to just shun them because they're different, yep. condemn them, you know, and yeah. I was talking to Leo before, it's, that's what we need to be able to do is love thy neighbor. Yep. You know, it comes back to that, that old one, you don't have to be religious to kind of dig that kind of sentiment, you know, like let's um, treat each other how we'd like to be treated ourselves, you know, 
mm. with dignity and respect and understanding and compassion, you know, and give each person a chance to express their voice and, you know, you know be understood. And I think that's what's the big word I, I heard out of that one was respect. Yeah. You know, as you said, we've got similarities, but we also have many differences. Yeah. And we respect one another's differences and different value systems, you know. Yeah. Yours, for, for instance, is, you know, eating raw, organic, vegan food. Yeah. Whereas, you know, I, I, I'm not vegan, I eat meat, but we don't fucking shame each other or guilt trip each other into each other's different value systems or yeah. push each other to believe that one thing is wrong or one thing is right. We respect each other for the person we are and the choices we make. Yeah. As long as we're not hurting anybody or um, uh, being being rude or anything like that, we're we're, we're respectful and and we yeah. care and that's that's a big thing. Yeah, yeah. That's it. So it's so yeah, the authenticity is a really important thing to to be, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So know yourself. Know yourself. Know your value systems. Yeah. Yeah. If you, I did a video on this kind of topic in the um, academy, our app today. So if you're interested in this kind of talk, maybe yeah. you should join the academy because it's got heaps of little bite-sized pieces, nuggets in there that'll help you be a better practitioner and yeah. may potentially be a better person because you're trying to um, be the best version of yourself. That's what we're really encouraging in the in that um, academy, be a better practitioner, be a better person so that you can be better for your people, you can guide them better, you can be the rock that um, people are seeking. Yeah. So yeah, what I've done, I went through the glutes, inside glutes, so I'm in a really kind of good spot here, riding high. So riding. good. That's like, be oh, that is so connected. Yeah. Even the stuff you are doing earlier, like through the medial part of, my glute there, like, yeah. and into the issue of tuberosity, that I could feel where you were on the bones the whole time and all the tendons and, yeah. oh, it's just like. You just want some weight through them, don't they? Oh, it's incredible, man. Yeah, how are we going? Like, let's get a thumbnail moment. Yeah. i squeeze my biceps a little bit more. Yeah, get the thumbnail, <laughs> man, pop so that up. Reckon? Go and do it. Get the teeth out, get, big smile. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, fucking giving it to him. Oh. <laughs> We've got some bird's eye views, mate. I'm making the camera and work. I'm directing. Oh, Look oh, at that. You're right on the money. Yeah, see I'm angled in. It's not just hamstring, it's right into the adductor, the magnus. Yeah, the magnus. The big one, the big bike. The big bastard. He fucking yeah. does a lot of work in this, this life, in this yeah. physical body, so. Giving him some curry and just giving him time to to come to the party as well. Yeah. Melt. Just, just let go, release. Let go, yeah. Get in there nice and deep. So this is around the area you've been feeling, oh, man. Oh, man, this is yeah. right. That is so good. Yeah. It's not too overwhelming. It's. I feel like you're quite blunt with your blade. It's more of a, uh, a, a larger... Broad forearm and elbow yeah. than a sharper pointy so it's like easier to, for me to receive yeah oh, and it feels just really good like you're collecting all of that all of those tendons you're getting the adductors and the hamstring and still on a little bit of glute whilst connecting to the the origin sites oh so good i don't even know if you've used any wax is there no wax no nah. no wax <laughs> it's awesome i had it out but um don't need it no, when you're going slow like this, you know, the blood flows, a bit of warmth for the blood, yeah. and the, there's just real microperspiration would be there. But yeah, you kind of want, when you're dealing with fascia, you you got to work it slow. you got to put an imprint into it. Like yeah. the, the fast stuff doesn't imprint the fascia yeah. the way that the, the real slow work does. So yeah, it just really helps it to, to hydrate the flow better, seeing the signals round. And the key is the less wax, the slower you go, the more yeah. wax, the faster you go, you know, or, or the yeah. oils or the creams, yeah. it's it's slippery. You're gonna just yeah. more or less polish the skin and, and yeah. skip over the, the tension that's in the fascial system. Yeah. Irrigation you, system. Irrigation, when, you, yeah, when you're going fast, there's more 
potential for damage. Oh. You're not going to damage things because you're not going to going too fast into things. It's like going over speed hump flat yeah. out. Like, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, imagine going over speed hump at 100 k's, 140 k's an hour or something like that. Jeez, you. Yeah, yeah. Your car would probably be stuffed as well. Even when you just mimicked that, it, yeah. it made you can me feel that. Bounce. Yeah. Like it made my whole body go oh, yeah. tense up. Yeah. Compared to this, is just like it's um. There's there's definitely some pain in there, but it's just it's safe. I know yeah. that you're not gonna come into something and really hurt me or yeah. Oh, oh far out! It's good, man. Strokes moving a little bit, but I can still sense things when they're coming up. Oh, this is fixing me. Yeah. So yeah, one good stroke can be the the bomb. One the good, one good snowplow, one good machine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do it, do yeah. it well. Yeah. Do it once, eh? Yeah. Oh. And there's just sort of so much, like you're feeling different sensations, different oh, intensities, yeah. just different awarenesses you have of different parts of your muscle that have been a bit stuck and things like that. Bringing up probably some memories, you know, of definitely the pains and stresses you've had through this area. Yeah, just me trying to release it myself with a ball and I can do it for a moment, but it's, it's almost a little bit overwhelming and sharp and I want to get off it. Yeah. Where this is like, it's all of that, but I know it's, it's helping, it's deliberate, it has an intention. Oh. It's safe. Oh, far out. There we go. Keep on going, you Keep reckon? Keep on going, yeah. yeah. If bit, you've got it in you. Bit longer, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can do it. Can do is no load to carry. What's your, what's your favorite quote at the moment, man, for this week? What are you enjoying? What's 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 on the agenda for you? I was, I was watching Zach Bush. Yeah, and um, he was. He might even be able to help me. I said this quote to you before. It was um. What's it to do with energy? Yeah. Energy is. The, what is it? Energy is to. Fuck! I can't remember. Yeah. Something about information for connection. Uh, butchered it. Yeah, butchered it. But butchered it. I have to come back to that. Yeah. I'll write it in the description. Yeah. So, yeah, we're all here to connect. Yeah. And um, we need to be alive to connect, don't we? And yeah. um, we're relying on um, the sun. The sun is kind of the origin, the source, you yeah. know, of life. Yeah. So we need to kind of honour honor the sun and um, the life force. And he was talking a lot about double carbon bonds is the ultimate battery like to um, for energy and for life force. Everything needs the double carbon bonds, whether you're a slime mold or a, a plant or an animal or a human, you know, we all need the, the sun to kind of fuel us, yep. energize us and um, yeah. Keep so us alive. Yeah, so we're, we're all here to connect. Yeah. So that's the, the, um, the crux of it. So yeah, yep. that's, we're gonna share information and um, yeah, that's that's where how we can connect that energy. Mm. We need energy in order to be able to connect. And uh, survival of the the species and survival of all the species really. They can evolve and um, next generations come on and um, enjoy this planet we're on. So that's what it's all about. Yeah, we can enjoy the moment, but yeah, we're we're leaving a legacy as well. Feels like you've got some wax there, but it's just starting to flow a little bit better. Yeah, it's and moving a little and bit, yeah. Moving. Yeah. Less blockages, but oh, yeah. it feels so nice. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I might, I feel like I might wrap up the video. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, you man, let's, um, let's do a swap. Let's, let's maybe do a treatment on you, and these guys can look forward to yeah. the next video. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a subscriber. Click the button if you have it. Like it. Share it with your mates. Jeez, maybe somebody out there could use some of our um, wisdom or look at a treatment like this and think, fuck, I need that. some of this on myself. Yeah. So um, practitioners You'll around the world uh, studied MMT stuff. So, yeah, look out for them in our directory. Go to our website. Um, yeah, but if you... 
even if people aren't MMT certified, I can still watch these videos and get a lot out of it and um, yeah, deliver better quality of service and treatment and um, optimize you. Yeah, there you go. Done. Done. <laughs>